In this video, I will show you how to create the user profile on Hasura side once we create the new user in Firebase. Hi there, my name is Mitro Mrzenski. When I was preparing the tutorial about Hasura migration, I came across the issue that we still have the hard-coded user in Hasura database. Uh, and, and I decided that before we go with the migrations, it would be nice to fix this issue first. And in this video, I will show you how we can do this. So subscribe to my channel, we are getting started. Okay, let me show you, let's go to in app, in features, dashboard and our to-do list. And here you see that author ID is being hard-coded string and if we go to our console, we'll see that this is actually this user which we created in the very first video and it's completely different from what we have in Firebase console. And I want to synchronize this, so once we create on Firebase user, the profile should be added also to the Hasura database. And the plan would be, I think, we have to start from the uh, login register page, all right? And there below, somewhere after the switch map, I will create a new stream with the actually request to create the profile. And once it created, then, then we will replace this ID with the ID of currently logged in user. And uh, yeah, but I will start from our queries. So I will build the query to create a profile first. For this, I will go to graphical and I will build here some very basic query. So copy this then I will paste it here and we have to provide some variables for first name and UID. I will start with UID and this is the UID or wait, no, it's not anymore UID because if, if we have a look on this user ID, it's completely different from format. So let's check in users, yeah, you see. This is UID format and it's completely different and Hasura will, actually not Hasura, but Postgres will not allow us to create the record in this table with the such ID. So I have to change the type and I change it to text, but I think it will not allow us, yeah, because we have the relations here and if we change then it says that yeah we will not because it will be different data types for foreign key and it should be always the same it cannot be different so here as example we have a text and uh, in the tasks user id it's uid we cannot do this so i think i have to go to relation i, I have to drop this uh, relation so far so and go remove this foreign key as well. And after this, I can go to users and I can go to the users and change the type. And now it allows me to do this. And then I go to the tasks. I will also have to change this to the text for author ID. And now I can again create the same relation as we had before. So that's user ID with reference to ID in users table. Now I can save. And in relations, I also create these relations. So it should be okay. Let's now check what the type for our user id now i believe it's string yeah this is the string so let's copy this and for our uid we'll say that it's type string and required exclamation mark is required 
and for full name data type is name and then I just assign this variable to object case and now I have to run yarn generate to generate the um, types and uh, services if it looks kind of magic for you you can check my previous video about uh, type generations and link will be somewhere up there and uh, what it says now that uh -huh, I think I know what the issue the issue is that we actually um, he, uh, we protected our endpoint and now we have to provide either valid JWT token or admin secret and otherwise you cannot access the uh, Hasura console and I will show you how we can provide headers in our code gen yaml config so I will do next so here's the headers and in headers I have to provide these this header and then I will go and check what the password here so once I provide this header I have full access to my Hasura console and if I run now it will fail again because uh -huh, we using QID type where string is expected makes sense yeah because we changed already the type so here will be string all right looks good then we can give another try and now it was generated successfully cool so then uh, what i want to do i want to uh, create some helper method actually to simplify a little bit our stream and this stream I will name like uh, I don't know, metadata create watcher and I will return all this stream so I just copy this and here I will replace it with result of this function this here we have to provide the user and user it will be firebase user here we go then I have to provide it here and TypeScript doesn't complain should be fine I think yep and then once we refresh the token I can create the profile so i will inject create uh, profile gql and there is mutate method here i will destructure the uid and write string ah because get id token returns string and we have to actually return the user so i will convert this get id token to the stream and map everything to to the user so this stream will, will return the user because in next switch map we need exactly this uh, user so yeah, i will just structure uid and here i will assign the variables and uh, we don't have full name actually so let's create very quickly their additional form field which is going to be a full name it's going to be required as well and here in template i will just clone this first section and rename it and assign the key of our form control okay it should be fine and there i will destructure with email and password also full name and I'll pull it here and Actually, to make it shorter, I think I can um, rename it to UID and leave it as it is. So this these constructions means destructure UID and reassign to UUID, just like renaming the variable, and that's it. And now I now it should be fine actually, and. I can log out and then go to create user. I will type Dmitro Mezhensky, then my email, 
and some password and I press create user and nothing happens because we probably have the error and yeah field insert user not found in time addition root yeah and it makes sense because in permissions we res we do not allow a user a user with the role user to insert something in this table so now we have to allow this and save now we can try one more time i will add my data and then create user and here we go it works fine so if we let's check the console in user section we see our user with the correct id which hopefully was created also in console firebase console okay it's there so first part i would say is done then we have to fix our to-do list component and replace our hard-coded value with the real data so i will start for, with uh, this on add task i will fetch the current user and because it's promise i want to uh, convert it to the stream with this from operator and then in pipe in switch map i will do actually this code this mutation i will pass it here and we have to yeah, let's remove this author id and we will add this author id here so i will spread the values from the form and author id is going to be user uid and of course i can destructure this and use the latest javascript cool features like this so looks looks good to me i think we can try i will refresh the page and let's add the new user from the metro test and it's working let's verify that our user id was added yeah that's real user id which is which came from firebase and looks like everything is working fine and just clean up our database and refresh looks nice okay that was it for today it's such a short video but very important before we start with the hasura migration which is 100 will be next video i promise you so subscribe to my channel to not miss it and as always thank you for attention and see you in the future